Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Today, we're going to be talking about this. That's right, today we're going to be talking about the Soonwell Tube Light, the MT1. Now, this is pretty much a budget version of the NAN Light system. It's with a built in battery, which is great, and it has a plethora that's right, a plethora of functionality. So, this is what it looks like. I already have some Velcro straps stuck to it, so I could stick it to the wall here where I normally do my side lighting. It's got a couple of controls, an LED display, and it's magnetic, and hence why the one behind me over there is actually stuck with magnets onto the radiator. This thing is also rated with an IP68 rating, which is pretty much great, and I'll put up here what IP68 actually means for everybody, and it's a 7.6 amp hour battery and 3.6 volts. Over here it's got a USB-C charging port and a typical mounting thread for your camera gear on both sides which is great to see although for some reason I've got something stuck in that one. The USB charger here is sealable with a little cap which goes in quite firmly and it's by the way, very hard to get out, so I normally have to leverage it with something. Point, let's have a look at this. So, switching it on, the LED lights up, and we get our first light. Now, as you can see here, it's, or maybe you can't, the display goes into different options. So this is the light at 90% Power and this is on a normal daylight. That's right, five, six hundred Kelvin right now on the light. Uh, if we want to take it up to a hundred percent, so that's a hundred percent, and it goes in one percent increments. You can see that that light is pretty, pretty bright. So I'm gonna hold this out of the frame, and that's at a full arm's length away or you can still see it just in the frame let me just see if I can get it a little bit further out and that's how it lights at a hundred percent so you can see it's blinding so I can't actually see the display anymore because I've blinded myself let me get down and dimmed a little bit okay now that's better now that's at one percent lighting right now so hopefully I'll be able to see better my eyes can recover and you can see better as well. So a few options we have on here. We have a set RGB function, so we can set the red, green, and blue tints to our desired effect. We have some effects programmed in, so this is, let me dim it again. Come on, it takes a while because it goes at one percentages. So this is the TF TV effect, so imagining there's a TV over here to my left and that has also a speed function on here what else do we have let's have a look police car a storm a color pulse a CCT pulse HSI flash a CCT flash, paparazzi for that flash, a fire effect, a party effect, a bad light bulb, fireworks, explosion, welding, SI jump, SHRS. HSI cycle, CCD cycle, 
warm cycle and a white cycle and with any of these little effects you can program how bright you want it and the speed you want it at which is great it is Bluetooth compatible as well so you can control it from your phone which I find incredible and probably the function I use most of all apart from the white light is the HSI I finally got it right function where you can kind of set whatever color of the rainbow your heart wishes and with this function you obviously have the brightness what's called here it's called the dim mode the HSI percentage and the saturation percentage so you go from a hundred percent saturation down to zero which basically makes it white battery I would say the only downside with this is the battery because it doesn't last that long probably with filming I get about two hours of battery life on this and the other downside the charging takes forever so full charge and I'm not kidding you four to five hours to charge this bad boy but like I said amazing light great value for money and a great substitute for those expensive LED tubes that you have out there like the nan lights so by all means I'll put a link in the description below for it don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one everybody goodbye for now